here we are. We are sitting here looking up what aspartame is made out of. And you really can't see that. Ooh, it makes it worse. All right. I can't really pronounce this word. It is P-H-E-N-Y-L-A-L-A-N-I-N-E. And that is one of them. That's a simple amino acid. It's fine. I'll read that one later. I'll go ahead and read all three of these definitions. But aspartame's main components are aspar aspartic acid, which I'm looking up now. We got AS. Oh, we got to go this way. We need ASP. That's G. So da 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 da. S. Aspartic. Come on. Yep, there's aspartame. Okay, aspartic acid, a non-essential amino acid found especially in young sugar cane and sugar beet molasses. From its being obtained from an amino acid found in asparagus. Mm, that's nice. Now, we have that. Then we have this other amino acid, any lalinine, I guess. <laughs> okay, we need P. These are O's. We don't need O's. We need P. P H E. Oh, hey. Haha. And line. Ah, here it is. An essential amino acid that occurs in constituent of many proteins. Okay. Well, that's not bad either. But then you get to the last component of aspartame. Methanol. <laughs> Most of you know that meth methanol is bad for you. But let's go ahead and read what methanol is so people have a better understanding of why it's bad for you. There's methadone. Well, we know that's bad, too. Here we are on methane. Now where's methanol? There it is. A colorless, toxic, flammable liquid used as an antifreeze, a solvent, a fuel, and a denaturant for ethyl alcohol. Oh, oh God. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. That doesn't sound good. A colorless, toxic, flammable liquid used as an antifreeze or solvent. And, yeah. Here, you read it. Oh, shit. I don't know if you can. <laughs> you can't read that. There's no way. Well, I tried to let you read it. That's what aspartame is, though. If you are okay with that being in your food, then mm, you might have a death wish. I don't know. Me, personally, I don't think it's good for you. I think the FDA should never have been allowed to make it okay to drink. These combine to kill neurons in the brain poison the body and are linked to enormous amounts of health effects. In any other scenario, this substance would be considered poison and recommendation for non-ingestion would be made on the bottle. Well, if they should have put a recommendation for not ingesting it, they definitely shouldn't have allowed all, it to be in all diet sodas and bubble gums and quite a few other foods as well. But that's what aspartame is. I thought you'd be happy to know. Okay. Bye.